Sell hot tips. If only you could put this in your mouth and have it feel so good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I hear that every week. It doesn't get any less weird. That's just, it's so creepy. Yet. Oh, it don't. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm going to share a hot tip with you. All right. Here I'm going to do the screen share. Add here. Okay. So the challenge that we had was we've got all of these email addresses, right? And these are all fake for the sake of the explanation. Oh, can you see my, okay. We can just, see you know, I'm just looking at my monitor and, and my screen and everything and just want to make sure you can see what needs to be seen. Okay. So we've got these extensions. And the question was, how can I get these extensions? You know, just the ORG or the UK, the EDU. And one way is text to columns. But text to columns will leave you with a big mess. Okay, so here is how I did this in several steps. First of all, we use the len function and substitute. And what Lynn does is it counts the number of characters in a cell. And then we do a substitute to say, take the period and make it nothing, close the gap, right? So without the period, how many characters do we have? So we subtract the full characters and then the number of characters minus the period and here we have a difference of one. Here we have a difference of three, and we can see one, two, three periods here. Here we've got one, two, three, four periods. All right, so the next thing we would do is substitute the last period with anything, with a carrot, right? So. We wanted to make the last period something that would be different from the other ones. Okay, so that's what the substitute is doing here. But, and then we do a find for this carrot. And then we're able to use our right function and grab whatever is after the carrot. So this is right, D2, what is the length of D2 minus E2, which is this 17 here. And so that's how we end up with only the extensions and not everything else, and not by having to use text to columns, which would make a big mess, and sometimes we don't have the space to make a mess. So that is today's hot tip on being able to get these extensions off the end of emails and URLs. And we can start to make these available, <laughs> right? Because the last one, I'm gonna end the screen share. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, if we can start making these available for people to download, you know, that'd be great because I did get asked about the previous hot tip. So let me see. I'm going to give this, let's say, four bottles of sriracha. All right? Because. I like it. Yeah, because people need to parse data. This is another thing. But with training has put me in front of so many different people with so many different needs. And one thing is data parsing. Always. All of this stuff, it is in the same cell. How do I get out what I want without having to do it manually? And so here's an example of data parsing and four sriracha bottles, y'all. I like that. I like the, uh, the first set of substitutes because, you know, what if they have periods in there and, you know, the name before the dot com? So that really was cool to accommodate for that. I like that. I'd give that six sriracha's. Oh, you would? 
Okay. I mean, I'm not in charge of that, but. <laughs> mm -hmm.